tell y'all something. You know it is no surprise that Diddy's Homes was rated today, March the 25th, baby, because all of the stuff that happened at those homes, he's responsible for. Let's get into it. Now, if you follow me, the Carolina Diamond, on my YouTube, I read you page for page and went through the whole lawsuit, so you're already caught up, okay? But if you're not, go to my YouTube and look at the playlist, Jones versus Combs. Now, the reason why they're uh, raiding his homes, and I'm going to get into it, is because the crimes that were committed at his LA residence and his Miami residence, which is why the homes were raided by Homeland Security today. This is the first page of a lawsuit giving you who he's actually suing. I'm not going through this, you guys. I'm just letting you know why the homes were raided. If time runs out, please make sure you go to my YouTube, The Carolina Diamond, and this will be in that playlist, Jones versus Combs. Now, as you know, Diddy and Justin were part of the lawsuit. Justin was responsible for getting the underage girls and sex workers. So unfortunately, he has been groomed by his daddy, allegedly, and he is just like his daddy. Part of the reason why they're raiding Miami, the Miami home of Diddy, this image right here, young Miami, her cousin, who is listed in the lawsuit as Jane Doe because he's suing her as well, Diddy and Mr. Jones, okay? Now, if you recall during the lawsuit, uh, Thanksgiving, I want to say 2022, Mr. Jones, the victim, was in the bathroom using a bathroom. Young Miami's cousin, Jane Doe, went to the bathroom, got on her knees, and essayed him. Okay, if you know what I mean. He pushed her back, took himself out of her mouth, and walked away. She did not stop. She stripped naked walking through the house. When he sat down, she straddled him naked. Diddy and everyone else thought it was funny, but that is him being essayed. This is an example of Mr. Jones being drugged. So he was drugged, woke up, and in the bed were these sex workers. He had no clue what happened. He did not know what in the heck was going on they haven't raided the boat yet and i'm trying to remember if this happened at the on diddy's boat or at the miami house okay it says right here that it happened on diddy's yacht so the yacht is probably going to be next this is another example of the victim mr jones being essayed right here is cuba gooding jr with his hands all over him. He said he was touching him all over and he did not want to be touched. If you wonder why he was letting Cuba touch him, why he was dealing with all this, and we're speaking of the victim, Mr. Jones, this is an intimidation factor. Yes, that is a picture of Jennifer Lopez, aka J Lo, with Diddy, because this is what Diddy frequently referred to saying, hey, don't forget, I made J Lo put that gun in her purse. I was the one that actually shot that victim back in the day. Mr. Jones saw so many times firsthand why Diddy was able to get away with what he got away with. Diddy is going down, y'all. The lawsuit clearly states we did all the work for you because there's so much wild fraud, sex trafficking, and sex trafficking is the reason why they went into the homes today. Not only because of the lawsuit where the crimes happened against Mr. Jones on those premises, because that lawsuit names so many underage girls and boys on this lawsuit. Now let's talk about Christina Corum. This is Diddy's chief of staff. I don't know why people keep bringing up Young Miami. I know it's because she's famous, but Young Miami was simply listed as a sex worker in this lawsuit. That's it, she's not even being sued. She literally was on his payroll as a sex worker. If anything, she's helping to get Diddy and all the other defendants indicted because they sent her money as a sex worker. This lady right here, Christina Gorham, is Diddy's chief of staff. This image is from the lawsuit. On the right, you have Jeffrey Epstein and Christine Jessaline Maxwell. Remember her? Mm-hmm. On the left, you have Diddy and Christina Gorham, his chief of staff. This lawsuit equates Christina Gorham with Jessalyn Maxwell because that's what she did. She basically ran everything for Diddy. She handed out who was going to get the social, the sex workers, who was going to traffic these young girls, who was going to run the guns, who was going to run the drugs. 
Christina makes sure that at every single home that Diddy ran, every single staff member had to make sure that they kept drugs on them at all times, period. Christina is going to go down just as hard as Diddy, okay? All the other players are inconsequential beside her. I say Justin will be number three because his job was responsible for getting the underage girls along with the sex workers. Let me say this too. All of you celebrities who attended the parties for Diddy and turn your head when those damn 13, 14, and 15-year-old girls were being trafficked in there, I hope they catch your ass too. All of you police who turned those children in to be trafficked, because I know you did it. You social services who are responsible for the foster care children, you police who are responsible for these girls missing and turning them over to Diddy, I hope they get you too. And you're going to get got because Diddy recorded everything, which is why he had so much on everybody. So those tapes, because we know who has the tapes. We know the guy who tapes everything and has the tapes and keeps the tapes. So when those tapes come out, everybody going to go down. Meek Mill ain't going to have shit on the rest of you. Let me know y'all thoughts.